guys <clears throat> and welcome back to my channel and today I am going to be going over my paycheck number two budget for April and I will be doing that in this Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly Planner and if you haven't already please take the second to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss any more of my future videos. I film mommy videos, budget with me's, plan with me's, and unboxings, basically anything planner so if that interests you go ahead and subscribe. So if you want to see me do my paycheck number two budget for April just keep on watching. Just going to flip to my monthly budget here and kind of go over what I have already paid for and if there were any changes. Um, so my credit score, um, and I realized last week, actually did go up two points from 483 to 485. So I'm super proud of that. And things that have come out from this last paycheck already are... Um, insurance and let's see iTunes has come out as well and then I'm gonna go ahead and check off daycare although and you'll see this when we start going over my second um, paycheck budget I did start um, subsidy for daycare so this 105 every week will be changing to one lump monthly sum but I need to get ahead on it and pay as much toward her daycare as much as possible first so that I am able to um, turn that into a sinking fund so instead of paying the $258 per month as a copay monthly copay and then an additional $17.50 per week I'd rather just pay all of that together at the beginning of each month so that's a change that you'll be seeing coming up soon but I did go ahead and take care of daycare um let's see I did this variable income I did get paid from the military and it wasn't on this day I think it was closer to somewhere close, it was on the 19th actually and that ended up being $240 and like 38 cents or something like that um but honestly I just used that to go towards daycare because there was a large amount it like got out of whack and then the amount of credits they were supposed to add wasn't right so basically I just wanted to pay it down completely <clears throat> and start from scratch so that is what that uh, those funds went to and this paycheck um, I am looking at receiving I believe it's like $813 or something like that I actually need to double check um, before I do my budgeted amount for um, the budget we're doing today but anyways it's over $800 and out of that will be coming daycare which will be a different amount than this 105 and insurance is the same and will come out this check I'll be doing iTunes veteran TV and my student loan payment another payment to pick monkey for my thumbnails and again dick here on the third um, and then I will actually have a couple of other expenses coming out that will fall into the month of March um, budget and I haven't set that monthly budget up yet but that's something or I'm sorry not the month of March the month of May and that's something that um, I haven't laid out all the stickers for yet but that will be getting taken care of in the next budget check-in or maybe I will do that today as well but it will take a couple a little bit more research on my part I haven't started my budget pre-planning for um, the next month I should probably get on that so let's flip over to um, by the way, as always, I am using an Erin Condren dual tip marker in the color green from the Tropics set. So, let's get that in focus. There you go. And I showed that in the last video, so if that wasn't clear, check out my last um, budget with me. And then I'll also be using the black and red out of the classic colorful dual tip markers in this pack that comes with red, black, and blue.
Okay, so I'm gonna start by filling out this paycheck number two. Sorry if I write crooked, guys. Um, it's just how I write. It's really weird for me to write, write with it straight, but I will do my very best. I just realized that I spelled out one on the last one, but we're not going to be OCD today. It's fine. Let's see. So I also haven't filled this in yet either. Like I said, I'll do a separate video checking in and doing a review of the last paycheck. But um, let's see. I just want to put a dot by the, the things that are going to go in this paycheck for when I fill it out. So I get paid on the 26th, which is tomorrow. So anything after the 26th of April. So student loan, vet TV, iTunes, pick monkey, daycare, daycare, insurance. Cash envelopes. and sinking funds so i should end up having one two three four five six seven eight nine ten because i'm also going to do a line for unbudgeted um line items this paycheck so as i did before i'm going to go ahead and actually pull out my um stickers that i got from shea budgets if you watched my previous video you know that that's who i use pretty much every time i love her budgeting kits and i love her channel she's one of the people responsible for my financial literacy and i just love using her stickers and these are in the premium mat and stay tuned guys i'm actually going to be um for my next budget check-in i am ordering um the sticker her sticker sets for my tn in the petite journal size the petite planner size so super excited about that and then i will be starting to show my budget in my erin condren deluxe monthly as well as in my p petite planner because that's the one i carry with me so i have my budget that i'll keep at home and then i'll have this budget or this budget that I keep at home, and then I'll have the one that I carry around with me, and that's where I will end up tracking my expenses. And then that'll also give me an extra sinking funds page and cash envelope page in here because I know a lot of people keep theirs the same, but mine can um, vary paycheck to paycheck depending on the needs of myself and my daughter. So it looks like I put day and plus. I swapped, um, last month I swapped the date with the item and put the plus or minus category. Um, she did already release a video of her new, what her new kits look like for June. And I'm super excited because it's a, it flows a lot better, I think, um, with what it is that I'd like to do. Let's get my white out here. So I did figure out what whiteout I use at school, and I really it's just like the Office Depot brand. So I'm gonna check that out because it's a lot. It glides a lot better, which I just I like I like for it to glide because sometimes I mean I've gotten good with this one, but sometimes this one um, like no matter when you use it, it's this part is always rubbed off. It's just weird and I like the way it, and the other one like this is hard to the other one is flexible so it doesn't rip it uh rip the um white out as much when i'm trying to put it down so here i'm gonna put date and something i will say when that you have to be careful of when using air and conjure dual tip markers is that they do not write very well on top of white out 
like I can't like if I were to press too hard it would just scratch it and pull up the white out so that's just something to be mindful of okay so the first thing I did was write the income that I budgeted I'm gonna double check my oh no I actually pre-planned this that's why let me get out my TN I'll be right back Okay, so my income, this paycheck after my taxes was $875. I did have a several hours of overtime for this paycheck. Normally, I would also put a like a B here and an A here. Well, I'm still going to because it accounts for B for budgeted, A for actual. Um, for my expenses, I'm going to put a budget, budgeted column and an actual column, but since I know already, I know the Wednesday before what my exact check is, check is going to be. So, this is paycheck number two, and it is for $875. And we're going to put a line there because I know that that's the exact amount that it will be. And then I'm going to go ahead and also lay down some washi. I think, is this the color I used last time? Yeah, it is. I was going to try to use a new color, but I don't have that dark green that I want. And I want it to match with this up here. I don't even think I have the color orange. That I would need. Nope. Okay. This is fine. I like consistency. This is cute. So I'm just doing this to separate my income category from my expenses category. Perfect. I don't know what I've been doing lately, but I have got this washi cutting with the card thing like down to a science. Or at least a lot better science than it was before because I was on the struggle bus. Like I was driving it. So now that I have that down, I can start to write down my expenses. Let's see. So I want to do these dates in order, but I don't have them in here in order all the way. Let's see. Mm. So my, let's see. Four, so what's on 426? Daycare and insurance. Go first. I'm also going to go ahead and add retirement. It's $10. And insurance and retirement come out of my check every single time. But I still put it as a line item because if there's three checks in one month, then I don't, um, then they don't pull this from it because it only takes it out of the first two checks of each month. But it just so that I can visually see where my money is going and not just a super low number here, then that's why I put these as line items still. And so my insurance, I budgeted $240 and 12 cents. 
Oh, that's definitely daycare. This is why we can't have nice things. I know y'all are probably like, wait, 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 wait. Sorry, I can't hear you. <laughs> Let's see. So, I'm gonna, the number that goes here is actually gonna be different than what I have on my monthly. And if that brought others, some of you, sorry. But, um, like I said, a lot of things fluctuate depending on the actual amount that um, I get paid. But this is also, like I said, different because the subsidy amount has changed. Or I started subsidy, so that's different. So this is going to be $75 budgeted. Then we have insurance, which is the $240.12. And then retirement, which is going to be budgeted at $10. I also opened up a new bank account. So also on the 26th, $20 from this is going to go to bank savings so what that means is I have a new bank account because I live in a new state but I'm still gonna take out $20 of each of my checks and have it go back to that account just to build up um, a savings this new bank account I also have set up to where it rounds up to the next dollar and saves that amount for everything I purchased with that card that should be coming in the mail soon, actually. Um, but um, I'm not going to say what banks I bank with, just for personal reasons, security-wise. I don't think it's safe. But um, if I've mentioned what bank I have seen before, then whatever, that's fine. <laughs> um, but I'm not going to mention it going forward, What which banks I have. I'll just do bank one and bank two. So bank one is the one that I had in Indiana. Bank two is the one that I have now here in Illinois. So that's what the that $20 is going toward. Um, next we have iTunes. So a bunch of stuff is coming out on 430. So we have iTunes and that is going to be for $9.99. Next we have Vet TV. And for those of you who are wondering what Vet TV is, it's a um, military t like online TV station and they release um, videos and stuff like that that are really true to what the army is really like in a very comical way um, and that five dollars I don't even really watch anymore just so I don't have time but I still like to donate to that cause because it's something that I feel like is important he works with um, um, working with pe people who have PTSD and are suicidal and stuff like that so I feel like $5 a month, I haven't missed it so far, so I, I'm not going to miss it going forward, and that's just something that I personally donate to, because I don't really donate a lot, like I don't do 10% or anything like that, because you have to help yourself, I firmly believe you have to help yourself before you help others, because if you're putting yourself in a hole, now somebody's got to be looking out for you, so anyways, moving on, the third thing is going to be my student loan payment. And um, that student loan payment is going to be $30. And with that, uh, in June, I can apply to get it out of default. And then I have access to my FAFSA grants, which is super exciting. Um, I won't be using it until after I finish my CDA in August. But um, I started my second out of three course, eight-week course for that this past Monday. So I'm super excited about that accomplishment. Um, next we have, I believe, Pick Monkey on the 1st. For $7.99. And I already put in daycare. 
Okay, so this next line item is going to be for unbudgeted. So we're not going to budget anything from budgeted, but um, I'll leave that open for whatever amount that is. I'm just going to double check and make sure I didn't leave anything out before I move on to sinking funds. Oh, looks like that is it because my next paycheck is going to be on, let's see, let's see. The third one, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, on the 10th. And if I look up here, so this is how I can tell even without planning for my next check, um, whether or not I have something um, to pay for. I go to here, I get paid every other Friday. So I get paid this Friday, that means one the next Friday that I will get my next paycheck. So I know that that will be the 10th. So I go up here and if I, I don't see anything that is due before the 10th, except for daycare, which I just told you is different. And pick my key is already included in my budget. So that is how I am aware that I don't have anything else that will pop up on my plate unless it of course is an unbudgeted expense and let's see let's go ahead and put down our next line of washi to separate out the sinking funds and cash envelopes by the way my daughter is actually asleep this time so for those of you who were Looking forward to her cameo. She normally makes an appearance, but not today. So, sorry about that, but maybe next time. Ah, I get so freaking excited. Does anybody else get like extremely excited when their washi like rips properly? It's just, it puts me in a place. Okay. Perfect. And now, let's see how I did it before. Okay. So we have on 426. And this is because I take out the money. The first thing that I do each time is take out the um, my singing funds and my cash envelopes. I don't let that money sit in my account at all because if it sits there, it'll get spent. And then that may not be the same for everyone, but especially for me, I go ahead and just take it out of the way. Like I literally, the day that I get paid so like tomorrow I'll go on my lunch and go pull the cash out from the bank so this time my total for my cash envelopes that will be coming out I budgeted one seventy And for my sinking funds, I budgeted one twenty six. But I can tell you right now that this number right here will be changing. Both of them. Um, I decided to do only fifty dollars. I like to do my actuals in black. Oh, it's 
excuse me, so sorry. I got up really early this morning to get this done for you guys and because evenings sometimes just don't work. I had my first therapy session yesterday. It went really well, but it was super taxing, so I didn't have time to film this last night. Oh, look who's stirring. Okay, maybe I can get this done real quick before she wakes up. So, um, and then for my cash envelopes total, I got, let's see, $50 for holding, $200 for transportation, $100 for YouTube, and $0 for my allowance, and $0 for food, um, $200, $350. And I will explain real quick why that is. I am actually going out of town um, because I have drill next weekend and I am getting my license back. Um, well, it's already cleared and fine, my Indiana license, but I'm going to get my Illinois license on Saturday so I can actually drive to drill instead of flying or taking a train, which is way less expensive. But the tank takes premium gas, so I'm going from Indi or Illinois to Indianapolis, and I wanted to budget $200 for that because I didn't, well, didn't want to be shy of any gas money. I don't know how much it'll take to get there. Uh, I think it's one tank there and one tank back, and it takes like $80 to fill it up from empty. Um, so I'd rather be safe than sorry, especially when traveling, um, alone for, um, a long distance. I don't feel like three hours, is, three or four hours isn't a long distance to me, but it can be to some people and I'd just rather be safe than sorry. Um, so that's why there. And I also am putting in a hundred dollars toward YouTube expenses. And by YouTube expenses, I mean like equipment and stickers and stuff like that. Some people put in their allowance. It was kind of funny because I commented under Shea Budgets and asked her if she counted her stickers as allowance or YouTube expenses and she laughed and said allowance. But um, I, because I'm not on a PR team of any kind, um, well, I mean, I'm an affiliate with Gold Mine and Coco and you saw my last video it's linked down below but um anyways I get sidetracked really easily um I still need to have an open budget to keep improving on my YouTube expenses I'm not making any money from YouTube yet so when I start doing that I will take that um from that money like a business expense would but um before this video gets any um longer I will also do a separate video doing my cash envelope stuffing and at that time I will go through my entire breakdown of these amounts and but I just wanted to admit, like it kind of explain why this was so ridiculously um much more and then here I'm just going in and putting this washi down. I'm going to do a rollover estimate because I was sick on Monday. So I'm going to be missing that day of pay and I'm going to be missing the Friday. Um, that's like the last day before like they cut off for my next check. So I'm definitely going to need rollover for my next check. Um, it's going to be, I'm, I'm getting, preparing for $200 less than what it would be. Well, alright guys, that is everything that I have for you for this um, budget with me. Let me know if you have any questions below. Who do you use to budget? Do you use stickers? Do you not use stickers? And um, any suggestions on any future videos that you would like to see. And go ahead and like this video so YouTube knows that you love my content. Please take this time to subscribe and ring that bell notification so you don't miss any more of my future videos. And like I always say, I will catch you in the next one, guys. Bye.